Today we're going to be building a garage organizer and in my case this is going to be for bicycles, scooters, skateboards, different footballs and soccer balls and that kind of thing but really you could use this for anything that you might need to organize in your garage or carport uh, but for my situation we need to get the toys up off the floor. So here is the frame that I just put together. All of it is treated lumber just because it's going to be on the concrete itself and out in the weather so to speak. Uh, so here I'm cutting some supports for the different bikes and scooters and that kind of thing. Now we'll say uh, once you cut all of these, I'm going to be cutting some angles on this in just a second. And so these are going to be connecting the top of the uh, bike rack frame to the bottom of the frame. And so you'll see in just a minute what I'm talking about, but you need to figure out if you want to take this project on yourself, what that angle is going to be because every carport floor, um, or garage floor is going to be a little bit different because of the way it slopes and slants to for water runoff and so I just had to figure out what that was going to be and so you can just figure out in your situation what that angle is cut the ends and then we'll attach these to the frame of the bike rack and so as I go I'm going to put the first one down I know where I'm going to end but I'm going to attach the first the last one excuse me to the end of this bike rack frame and then I'll work my, my way back to the left hand, left hand side of this rack. And so I'll put each scooter in there, figure out the spacing, put the next bicycle, figure out the spacing, pre-drill and screw these supports into place. Very, very simple and uh, that part is done. Now let's move on to the next part of this project which is gonna be a shelf. Now the shelf is gonna be right above the bike rack and it's gonna have some hooks along the way for helmets and that kind of thing but also uh, the shelf is for like different things they might use outside like bubbles or uh, sidewalk chalk and that kind of stuff so i'm working with a couple of pieces of one by sixes they're both treated i cut off some uh, square slightly larger rectangles uh, to be exact uh, and i cut those on a diagonal for supports for this thing and I'll show you in just a minute the kind of trouble that I'm having with this, this shelf. And the reason is because I'm working with just construction grade lumber and it's treated and it kind of warps and bends um, as, it, as it goes on. But you'll see right here, I'm trying to get a bow out of, this, out of this board. And so I push it down so I can screw it into the other piece. And so once I get it all together, it's just got a real bad bow in it. Um, and to be honest with you, I should have just picked some better wood, uh, but you can, you can see the bow in this, but that's going to be okay. I, I positioned this and put it together so when I get ready, I can work that bow out when I attach it to the wall. Uh, but first, I'm going to add some supports in, and I put this first screw in. You'll see some daylight between the support and the shelf right there. And so I'm just going to add a screw in there to bring it in and close that gap up. And so that did the trick. And so I'm gonna do this all the way down. I think, I, I think I've got like five supports in there. Uh, a few would have been sufficient, but I had the wood, so I just went ahead and put several in there. I'm gonna pre-drill some holes. These are the holes that I'm gonna drill through and into the wall, and this is what's gonna hold the shelf up. So I went ahead and started a couple of screws uh, into those holes so it'd be easier for me to uh, go ahead and hang this by myself. And so I'm kind of referencing off of the siding, so hopefully it'll be somewhat square or level. And so I'll start one screw and then I'll move down and uh, put in the other end. And when I, did, when I do this, I can put a level on it to make sure that everything is level. Uh, and luckily in, my, in this situation, it was level and I didn't have to do anything else. So I can go ahead and finish putting the screws in into the shelf. And here comes my little helper to make sure everything is uh, going as planned. And so he's checking things out. They're just really excited to have um, something new to look at and to work with. Um, I just recently did a video on organization inside. They really love all of that, having a place for everything. So hopefully that will carry out here uh, to the outdoors. So let's add a couple or three or four uh, hooks, excuse me, to this shelf area and like i said this is what's going to be uh, 
for them to hang their helmets and stuff on. I'm sure we'll add hooks here and there for different things, uh, but this will get us started. So I just measure out, see what the center is in between two supports, add a hook in, and that's it. It's pretty simple. So that's the shelf. Uh, that's pretty much all that is. And now I'm gonna move on to the ball bin. And so with the ball bin, I'm gonna take a, uh, a few pieces of treated lumber and create a couple different frames. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in just a minute. So these short pieces that I'm putting pocket holes in are gonna connect a couple of longer pieces. And these are gonna be my sides. And so with the uh, pocket holes, I don't have to have any overlapping joints. You know, I don't have to have any um, create half laps or I don't have to have any overlapping, overlapping um, you know, face to face joints and that kind of thing. So with pocket holes, I can build it in this orientation and it takes up less space. And so I'm gonna do two of these and connect them with a couple, or actually four two by twos. And I'm just gonna screw a couple of screws in from each end and that's it. And so now I can take it outside and I'm gonna attach it to the bike rack itself and then into the wall. And so I'm just gonna put in a couple of screws uh, from the inside and that should hold it. And then on the top side, I can run a couple of screws through the two by two and hold that to the wall. And that's it. And so it's secure and now we can just add all the finishing touches. Okay, so here on the ball bin, we're gonna add some bungee cords. And so I'm gonna put some, I call them eye screws. The package says screw eyes. So either way you look at it, these are screws with a, an eye on the end of it to where you can hook something to it. All right, so quick tip, use an Allen wrench to install your screw eyes. So what I've done, I just grabbed an Allen wrench, I chucked it up into my drill, and once I've got those things started, I can just stick that Allen wrench in there and it just drives it on in. Because I've got to do eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 of these things. And so my fingers would be really tired. So that's a pretty, pretty quick, uh, pretty good quick tip there. So I want to do something a little bit customized here and I could not find any Z brackets. Uh, I could have ordered some, but I was ready to do this project and didn't, I didn't have time to wait on it. So I just made my own. So I got a couple of uh, just regular shelf brackets, really small shelf brackets, and I'm just bending one end of it to create my own Z bracket. And so it's just a matter of hammering it out, hammering it out and, and getting it the way you want it. Uh, and for what I want to use it for, it's, it's going to be just fine. So I'm going to screw about three of these onto the wall and what my plan is, I'm gonna hang a bucket on this. So my kids like to play wiffle ball in the backyard and this bucket's gonna hold all of the wiffle balls and they can just grab the bucket off the wall and go. And then when they're done, they can put all the balls back in that bucket and put it back on the shelf or on the wall. So moving back to the ball bin, we're gonna put some bungee cords uh, in place so all the balls don't just roll out all over the carport floor. And this has worked out pretty good so far. Uh, kids love it. And so I wanted to uh, get some color in there. So that adds a little bit of flair to this project. And so we're just gonna dress this thing up, load it up with all the toys and bikes and everything. Uh, the good thing about the bicycles, they don't need kickstands. These things stand up on their own. So um, I've got another little set of hooks down there for another skateboard that is soon to come that my middle boy thinks that he wants one too now. So. Uh, that will be an area for another skateboard. And so we're hanging all the helmets up, got the bikes in place. And the good thing about the scooters is they will stand up on their own as well. Uh, if any of you guys own <laughs> Razor scooters or anything like that, you know the struggle keeping them things standing up on the wall or something. They just are laying everywhere. So with this design, they just, you just, throw the scooter in the, in the slot and it stands up on its own. So now we can load the ball bin up and this is my kids favorite part of the whole project is using this ball bin. They love the bungee cords and the ease of getting the balls out and all that stuff. So, And right next to the ball bin is the wiffle ball bucket and wiffle ball bat. And so this makes it really easy for my kids just to go out in the yard and play some wiffle ball. 
Okay, so we're done with the organization out here in the carport. Uh, before, everything was just scattered all over the place, and so we had to walk around um, and tiptoe, <laughs> make sure where we were going, we didn't trip over anything. So we've got a place for the bikes, the helmets, skateboards. Uh, we've got a bin over here with bungee cords for uh, <laughs> different soccer balls and basketballs and footballs and that kind of thing. And so it just looks a lot better, and then plus the kids can find it when they want to do something. Uh, and plus when they get done playing, they can put everything back because they know where everything goes, right? So thank you for watching the video. Uh, we really appreciate you watching and hanging around to the end. If you like what we're doing, uh, consider subscribing to our channel if you're not already a subscriber. Uh, check our website out at stoneandsons.net and sign up for our newsletter so you can stay in the loop with what we're doing. All right, guys, thank you uh, again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Say bye. Bye.